Good afternoon, morning, or evening. I'm the Mainly Digger, and this video is about holsters or Bravo Concealment. Bravo Concealment is a company out of Texas who... Uh, who donated some products, donated some holsters to Operation Reboot and their mission, which is awesome. And uh, also to Fossey Sunglasses, donated two of their sunglasses. I took the... I. I took the, uh, the more classy looking sunglasses. I don't like fancy sunglasses or fancy looking sunglasses. So the only reason why I don't have them on right now is it's dark and their lenses are are dark. That's that's the only reason why. They make, Tifosi makes bicycle sunglasses. They make multiple different sunglasses, but they're more known for the bicycle sunglasses. I, uh, for Reboot, I got, I asked them if they could send out a, uh, a fishing one or fishing light glasses. You'll see it online. And they did, which is awesome. And, uh, but this, this, this video is about holsters. I have uh, over 20 years experience in the military, it, in the infantry and uh, as an MP, so I've carried pistols, is what I'm saying, in different types of holsters, in different types of ways. I, uh, I'm from Maine, and that's, I we we love our our handguns. We love our handguns. I, it's a two way state, without a doubt. Open carry doesn't matter. Concealed carry doesn't matter. So it's, uh, yeah, I've carried my 45 in multiple different ways. I've a 1911, and it's it's been interesting to carry it. And uh, I, I go over the the different type the I go over the holster and the different types of ways to carry it, and the different the pros and cons. I go over the pros and cons, mainly dig out. So this is I'm a huge fan of this right here. The fact that. You can adjust these to fit how you how you how you're comfortable with with a holster or where your holster sits. That is awesome. A couple of screws. You undo the screws, adjust it, test it out, see where it fits comfortably, and then uh, carry on. And that is that is awesome. Uh, some pros and cons of wearing this type of holster. Pro. The pros are that it it's adjustable. You can put it anywhere on your belt or in inside your belt or outside your belt and it uh it'll be comfortable or semi comfortable. The only con that I've heard so far is that it's plastic. So and it sits close to your skin. So if you're you're wearing this type of holster all day long with the even for an hour with the a weapon that has a handle that is it's, you can see i've used this and you, i should have cleaned this off a little bit more I, like a, a handle that has a lot of grip or like especially like rubber grip you're gonna feel it you're gonna know it's there and it's gonna be uncomfortable so that is that is one of the cons another one of the pros it it has room for a sight which and there's a there's another type of holster made by Bravo Concealment that has is actually made for for a pistol with sights. But this one it, it was pointed out to me by one of my friends who carries every day of his life. He probably sleeps with a, a weapon on a pistol on him. Anyway, he likes to have your optic on his pistols for whatever reason. He feels comfortable with that. But this this type even this this isn't made to have a rear sight on with it but you could still put one on and use it for that. That was pointed out to me. I thought that was pretty uh, you know, pretty cool pro to, to this, this type of concealed pistol holster.
what I like for in a holster is something that is comfortable and something that doesn't just stay in one spot. That's why I like these types of holsters. I can adjust it how I either dress or if I'm in a vehicle. Another one is getting in and out of vehicles or sitting down is, is some holsters you can't, it's not comfortable. Especially for, for law enforcement, you're in and out of your car all day long. So it's, it's just an odd, it's an odd, you gotta find the correct spot. So like it's, that's why I like these holsters. You can adjust them on chunkers. But so it's, you can adjust it to up front, which isn't really, I don't really like it, but also you can pull it back a little bit. And uh, even though I like it, uh, to me that's not comfortable, but like I can see if you're, you're in a, you're standing all day long or you're, you're standing for a long period of time, you can adjust it. That's why I like these pistols or these, these holsters is you can adjust them up, you can adjust them back. This, this right here is, I like it. I like this type of holster because it's, you don't need a belt. Like these are swim trunks. I'm not gonna always wear pants suits with, with belts. Maybe, maybe I wanna wear like sweat, uh, maybe I wanna wear a sweatpant. Maybe I wanna go out in sweatpants, whatever. Maybe I'm just going to Walmart or someplace like that. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna have a, a belt on all the time. With this type of holster, I don't need a belt. Another thing is how you, how you, you draw, how, like, is it comfortable when you draw? How you draw. So like a lot of times I'll have a coat over or a jacket. It's Maine. I live in Maine. So I'm always wearing a jacket. So like, does it get caught up on, or does the material get caught up on the holster or the pistol? Does, does the pistol cock out too much? So like the material, like, gets caught or whatever. These, these pistols, these holsters sit like close. Try not, not to flash too much skin here. Too much gut, too much belly. It's a quick draw. And then up to your stance. And it's an easy clear. Move to your hip back a little bit. Still same thing. Want to notice that it's clear. I don't have any ammo in there. Nothing in there. We're good. And it doesn't, the ammo, the weight doesn't change how much the draw or how you, how much the, the weight doesn't change how, how you draw. There is more to come. Mainly the guy out. This is the end of the video. More to come though.